One thing to remember with an Onshape document is that it's really just a project level container. One document in Onshape can contain all parts, sub-assemblies, and top level assembly, as well as any other project related files. This means things like PDFs, spreadsheets, G-code files can all be imported and stored right inside your Onshape document. So here I have a design in Onshape, and the first thing to notice is that the Parts Studio has 36 parts in total. All 36 parts were built together and all are managed together in this one document. So I'm wrapping up and I need to add some project related files to the document for reference. To import any file, select the import from the bottom left menu. Then just browse to the file you'd like to insert. Remember, any file extension can be imported to a document. To import multiple files to a document at once, you can shift select. Files that can be viewed by your web browser can also be viewed right inside Onshape. Some examples of these are PDFs, most images, video, and even text files. So with Onshape I can store all my project related data in one document. In addition, Onshape has built in version management to manage changes to my project. Let's create a version to track this milestone in my design. Here we'll create Rev A. With traditional CAD I would be concerned about managing the versions of 36 individual part files. This is not the case with Onshape. And it's not just CAD data being versioned. All the project related files that I imported are also version managed. And if some changes are made to one of those project related files, an update can be made to the Onshape document to track the history. With Onshape, data management capabilities are built in and not just for CAD.